हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चन राइट दिस वाज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ ऑनलाइन असेसमेंट ऑफ अ प्रोडक्ट बेस्ड कंपनी सो व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू फर्स्ट विदाउट सॉल्विंग दिस जस्ट लुकिंग एट द ऑप्शंस वी विल सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन दैट व्हिच शुड बी द राइट आंसर एंड देन वी विल एक्चुअली क्रिएट दीस टेबल्स एंड सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इन एसक्यूएल ओके सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड वी विल सी हाउ we can el eliminate the options uh, when you have a you know online test of multiple choice question so this this way you don't have to solve a question but you can still reach to the right answer okay so we have these three tables it is a kind of football tournament right so we have game table so we have a team table first where we have different teams then we have a game table so different game there is a match id 101 this happened on this date this is stadium between team 1 and team 2 so team 1 is a team 2 is b right now in each match so this match id refers to this match id in goal table right so in each match if there is a goal done that information is there in multiple rows so for example match id 101 101 101 101 there are three goals in this match right the first two goals is by team id a right it is between a and b so two goals from team a and one goal from team b this is the player name and this is the goal time so in this question this goal time and player name is of no use the main thing is these the, these are the goals for match id and these are the games different games right now the question is which sql list every game with the goals scored by each of them right the result set should show match date team 1 score 1 team 2 score 2 right so for each match so for example let's take example so this is my match 1 right so for match 1 match date is this team 1 is team a and then score how many goals is scored by team a so you see there are two goals so 2 2 it will be 2 a 2 then team 2 and score 2 team 2 is b how many goals one goal so this is how we need for all the matches so if there are four rows in the game table there will be four rows in our output as well right let's look at the options and try to eliminate them and reach to the solution without actually solving the solution right so these are my options now if you look at carefully all of these options right one thing is for sure that we know that we have to do a left join right because we need all the matches from the game table there is a possibility that in a particular game there was no goal scored right then that match will not be there in this table at all so if we do inner join between these two tables we will lose those matches right so one thing is clear that we have to do a left join and left table should be game right so let's start so if you look at option 3 and 4 these are inner join see between goal and game table right so this will not work again we have this inner join here right inner join here if you don't give any join inner left by default it is inner so this will not work this will also not work we cannot have a inner join right now let's look at the first option here we have right join and right table as goal so all the records from goal will come but that again will not help because we want all the records from game table right so we are left with two options now this where we have outer join and this where we have left join and game being the left table now if you look at this query this query is again wrong there is no group by here so we are doing a aggregation see there are some columns non aggregated columns that we need in the output and then we have a sum right and there is no group by at all so this this again gone we are left with only this option so we this option should be correct we have the left join as well here also they have missed to add uh, in group by other columns like m date team one but which is fine because for each id these columns will be unique right for each match id these columns are not going to change so they should ideally add it but that's fine i mean this is the best option in this okay so this is how we can arrive at it very quickly without thinking about how to solve it if we just put common sense uh, we can find the right answer right so let's move on and solve this question so I have created this question on the Namaste SQL portal because I found it. It is really good. I'll share the link of this portal in the uh, description box. You can check it out. Okay. So we have these three tables as we saw: team, game, and goal. Right. If you see again, this team team <coughs> is of no use, but it is there to confuse you. Right. So it 
in the in our output we don't need anything from this table so we can just ignore it <coughs> sorry so let's let's query those two tables only which we need so i'll just remove this and run code okay so these are the two tables now this is a game table where we have all the games and then for each match the team id which scored the goal the player and the goal time so as i said that we need to do a left join right on the game being the left table so i will say select star from game left join goal right now on what column we need to join on match id match id we have to join right so i'll say uh, left join goal on game dot match id equal to goal dot match id right so let's run this and see what will be there okay so if we look at the output you will see that we have for each match right for each match if there are two goals then we will have the two rows if there are four goals total there will be four rows right because each record of game table is joined by each record of goal table based on match id right now what we need to do what we need to do is so what we need to do we need team 1 and number of goals scored by team 1 in this match right for each match so if i just compare that team 1 and the team id here this team id coming from the goals table right these three columns are coming from goals table so in the match 1 the join is on match id match id match id right so if i say this team 1 is equal to team id it means it is done by team 1 if the team 2 id is equal to the team id then it will be done by the team 2 right simple i just have to compare these team ids with the team id which have done the goal for each row individually and then i can just aggregate it okay so let's start so in the output we need match id match date so let's get it so i will say game dot match id so this you have to take from game table because we need all the records from the game table again game dot match id sorry match date okay then i need team one team one now i need a score one how much a score is done by team one so i will say case when right team one right case when team one equal to team id right so let me call it game dot team one is equal to goal dot team id right then one else zero so i'm creating a flag right similarly for team two i will do i will say i need team two right and let's copy paste it again and i will say case when game one dot team two equal to team id right then one as zero and as team one flag or team one goal we can say anything right and let's call this as well as team two goals right so we have created flags basically so if i just run this you see for each team we are telling is it done by the team one yes is it done by the team two no right and just i can just aggregate data on match id match date team one team two and then some of these goals to get the answer so i just have to do some and this is some again here some and some and whatever other columns we need we need to just do a group by so i'll just copy this group by this and team 2 as well right this is one more column here so if i just run this we have the expected output let's compare with the ex this output right so let's see if we are correct yes we have four and let's compare 0 1 2 0 looks fine let's evaluate it yes thanks for watching